What's up, Panda dudes? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I wanted to show you this Danko tub and shower trim kit for mowing. Um, you know, I have a mowing, mowing troll handle. I've already kind of popped the top open here. I just wanted to show you how it comes. It comes in this blister pack. And the reason I want to show it to you, I'm not going to install this, is actually I just needed some parts. But one of the issues that came up, especially on Amazon as I was reading about this, is that uh, this one's a brush nickel, so, but they come in different uh kind of styles is that this plate here a lot of people complained that it was really poor plastic now i think at a glance it looks pretty good but i thought i would kind of show you uh what you get when you order this thing and then kind of give you you know some specifics around the quality of it so first of all some of these things already came out of here you do have this plastic handle uh which i find you know like this raindrop shaped handle which i think these clear plastic ones never look very good. Uh, <laughs> shortly after you use it, you have one of these stops. It does come with instructions, obviously. And then you have hardware to upgrade your shower handle. Um, and here are kind of the two main pieces. You can see some screws, some mounting plates and adapters in there. Uh, you have the sleeve. So you should be in pretty good shape for your application now like i said this is more of a quality look here so what i really wanted was this handle and that's why i got it and as you can see here it is like a cast metal feels pretty nice and uh, that brush nickel look certainly looks legit so that's 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 nice that's fine um and you know no markings on it but easy to grab nice and smooth I'm pretty happy with this. This is actually what I needed it for. All right, but this piece absolutely is plastic. Looks like they've attached oh, a little plug there. Not sure what that even goes to, but you can see here, you've got like the, the two and seven o'clock positions for bolting this down. Uh, it doesn't, you know, at a glance, if I have this metal brush nickel and this, it doesn't look that bad. I mean, it looks like a fairly good match, but this is absolutely plastic. And probably one of the, the problems, or maybe what people are complaining about, is not that it's plastic, because, like I said, looking at it, it doesn't look that bad. It's not until you touch it, which a lot of people aren't gonna really care about. But what I can see here is that there are little scratches in it already. And, you know, while this isn't used or anything, it just has kind of that soft nature of plastic. And so over time, I can see it getting a little beat up and that's just tape. Um, you know, the finish is a pretty good simulation of brush nickel or satin nickel, actually brush nickel in this case, but I think it's more of the fact that, not how it feels, but the fact that um, you're starting to get wear already or signs of wear on it that only really plastic would exhibit at this stage. And then uh, assuming underwater and maybe cleaning, you know, especially if you're using like a, um, some sort of scrubbing compound, you know, on your tile, I think this could get beat up relatively quickly. Now it does have a little rubber ring here. So, you know, I don't know if you'd caulk this or not, but it should help make it watertight. But here on the back, you can see how it is just like a molded plastic. Um, the other cool thing about it is it does come with a couple plates also in brushed nickel here that will allow you to adapt it for slightly different bolt patterns. So if you have the, you know, the uh, 2 o'clock and 10 o'clock pole pattern, you'll have this, this flange that you can use. So you would put it like this. Or... The two and seven which is what i have and could use this and then i don't know what else they have this looks like the two and seven too so for whatever reason i've got a couple of them again the brush nickel design but all of these are plastic too yeah would this be better if it were metal sure but uh, i'll also tell you that it's also possible that if this were metal instead of this kit being a a $30 upgrade kit, it could easily be a $60 upgrade kit, right? Um, so that's what people are complaining about. I just wanted to give you a, a close look at this piece so that you can make up your mind of 
whether or not um, the plastic construction is going to matter to you. Peter Von Panda. With my Danco, Lieutenant Dan, Danco Tower Shrub Trim Kit. Out!